Welcome back to Pisces TV with Montana B. This is our finance reading, guys. So welcome, 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 welcome to all of the newcomers. Have a seat. Thank you for joining us. Let me slow down. I know that the Queen of Pentacles being on the deck just talks about patience and being organized. Okay? Being at home, in your element, releasing things, being unfettered, unbothered. Okay? Nonchalant even, right? Prestige and luxury. All of my returners, I appreciate your continued support. So thank you all. Seriously, each and every one of you watching this video, I appreciate and hope to deliver the most efficient, most accurate message, inspiring or informative, as well as a little bit of entertainment that I can give. Okay. Here on YouTube, we have the description box, right? The infamous description box that all of us YouTubers talk about that not many of the YouTubers click on. So I will shorten what's in there. It's a lot. Check it out. All of the links, emails, contacts, payment methods, courses, classes, anything new, anything important, it's there. Here on YouTube, we have members, merch, and the community board, which is super essential and dope because it is like the description box magnified, right? So check it out. If you hadn't subscribed and you're called to do so, an incentive would be I hold a lot of contests. I update quite frequently and pretty cool. We have fun. You're a Pisces. This is a collective. Why not? And those of you that have subscribed, check the notification bell. And if you want all of the alerts, if you're missing anything or ah, I missed the free giveaway. Ah, I missed the tarot class. Ah, I missed the live Zoom meetings. You know, the speed dating. I missed that. I missed it then hit the notification bell so that you get your alerts and let's get started. Without further ado, I shuffled out a card. I wanted to talk about finances and the first card to come out is my Queen of Pentacles. I saw seven pentacles here, okay? And I also saw the death card, so I was like, God, what is that about? Let's talk about it. Here is the Mother of Pentacles on her throne, you know? She's looking at her pentacle. I think she appreciates it. She's maybe trying to figure something out. You know, she's not too far from the water, right? I'm a very visual person. And I just saw seven pentacles. And I just saw the queen of cups. And I see a little bit of water, but I see mostly ground. So either you're feeling very grounded, okay, and solid, and planted, and firm, and confident, or you will be, all right? The little mud, you know, in the grass. I don't know why I was thinking about the wands because it's red, but I don't want to talk about that. I think it's that fertility energy, though. Fertile ground and the grass is growing if it's been dry for you. Okay. We have been talking about abundance. Today was the number seven day. We talked about good fortune. So this grass is growing in. All right. We got plants. We got the rabbit. Fertility. Good time. Good stuff. Good energy. Earth energy. Grounded. Now, if you're not a homemaker, working from home, looking to host something, it could just talk about being loving and kind and animals and green and organic things. This is also someone who may be conservative and thoughtful, maybe keeping a secret, practical, and it talks about common sense and sincere with this grounded energy, still empathetic and sensitive, in tune with nature, a natural woman, you know, a natural mother, but good business sense, being organized, tidy, with security and faithful. Okay. So if this is about joint income, then you are definitely committed and faithful to something. All right. Now, the seven pentacles with this queen of pentacles gives me the energy of eight pentacles, which does talk about discipline and or moon work. All right. It talks about the, the link. It talks about DNA. It talks about work. It talks about gifts. Your hidden gifts. Using logic over heart to do some reflecting, maybe when it comes to your money, right? Because the seven of pentacles represents that drawing board type of energy where we may have done some things and we're sitting there either waiting, you know, patiently for these sprouts to grow or we're sitting there like they're not growing fast enough, you know, or maybe you guys are, are considering growth or have grown. All right. Yellow is a practical color. It's in here. Green is my color of love and money. It's in here. 
the sun nurtures everything it's back there you can't see it but you know it wouldn't be daytime without it and so this is nurturing something this is also emphasizing the empress's energy or where she gets it from right because the empress is the queen of queens and our queen of pentacles does have that nurturing energy type where everything will grow the flowers will flourish everything around you so you and your environment which is why domestic issues and home life normally comes up and the need to be organized now see if you were cleaning your home cleaning your office cleaning your workspace you're nurturing it you care about it if you're doing this for yourself you know uh getting a massage painting your toes shaving because it talks about a natural woman right i don't know <laughs> maybe you're waxing but this does talk about nurturing yourself too uh soft and easy easy to be around okay still sexual but not in an energy of toxicity right um a, a very womanly woman energy and for you guys it could be someone in your environment or like i said someone you're working with um are you looking to make your home more comfortable you may love being at home or currently because of the quarantine you've been at home a lot so we are going to see you know in this current energy of our mother of pentacles why 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 does the current situation warrant the mother of pentacles oh i have potential i have patience i have paying attention for some of you there could be a meeting for others of you it could be paying attention to your energy if you have been conflicted if you have been you know i don't want to say missing appointments or somebody's missing the point it's asking you to stay grounded when definitely dealing with children for some of you okay be kind and caring not really unemotional but you know putting your temperament and emotions to the side to be warm and nurturing i don't know if you work with children or you're working from home with your children but the queen of pentacles loves children equally you know she doesn't favor you know what i'm saying there's not a lot of anger there's not a lot of emotion there's no over analyzing being you know of the intelligence with the swords maybe not even a lot of, a lot of communicating some of you guys may be paying attention to your work or being asked to now i see growth here because the challenging aspect could be for some over analyzing or a delay with the page of pentacles and then the queen of pentacles in the current situation is kind of like the topic that we're going to be discussing now i have seen the nine of cups and the nine of cups to, could talk about contentment like i said and patience with how some things are working out okay it also talks about happiness and possible wish fulfillment for some of you and i like nines because it does talk about completion but contentment within yourself and getting what you want it's the wish card you may be getting what you want you just may okay and if for some of you this isn't a business partner it's just satisfaction in your business all right a lot has been coming up again for your material gains okay something about the summer and summer brings heat but it also talks about shop owners party planners wedding planners event planners upscale restaurants maybe going out whatever it is and also merchants <clears throat> so just be mindful especially for some of you that are in business or have business <clears throat> excuse me that it could talk about merchants you know you as a business owner or your clients um the market buying and selling and all that kind of stuff but i think it is contentment and something you're going to be happy about be patient for this wish fulfillment pisces okay and we will go into details in the extended to see exactly what this meeting is about this apprenticeship could be about ooh that's coming toward you here's the chariot it talks about your focus so we will be talking about paying attention and focus um those of you where it's like this contentment and temperament kind of thing you have to kind of like have the supreme focus of i don't want to say the outcome you desire but getting to the light at the end of the tunnel if there are shadow aspects here is the light aspect and something about still going in the same direction regardless 
still having the same goals and aiming toward those goals and the willpower of the sun is magnified remember i said it's here we just don't see it but here's that chariot energy that talks about that strong drive <clears throat> now some of us where it talks about going the distance and, and possibly about time didn't i say the seven of pentacles would talk about time and reflection and the eight of wands is the opposite of that is definitely about taking action and the timing being now now also for those of you that may have ships coming in because look we had the seven in the reading of the daily vibe today is the seventh and we did talk about the distant horizon so these could be two cards representing those ships coming in all right if this is where we leave off i definitely appreciate you guys again for visiting the channel do hope that you stay until next time pisces Namaste.